So I'm really curious about certain issues that are national and local at the same time, like the health care issue. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, that's been a major battle politically in the country um, that has uh, hit the national and all the way down to the grassroots local level, and it started tea parties and all that kind of thing. How do you, how do you view the health care situation, and what do you see as being the way to solve the issue? Well, I, I'm not quite sure I know how to solve the issue, but if, if, it, if in fact the problem that they were trying to solve was to uh, insure those who are uninsured right now, uh -huh. a large pool of people who are uninsured, they didn't have to reform the entire health care system to do that. One of the things that concerns me as a, a person running for uh, a local public office is what kind of effect is this going to have on local budgets? Uh, the uh, the uh, uh, obligation to to ensure everybody, uh, the obligation to uh, uh, in, uh, pick a particular insurer. Uh, how's that going to affect public budgets? How's that going to affect uh, private businesses? How's that going to affect small businesses? I'm I'm kind of your classic conservative when it comes to the power of government. I, th I think that the uh, the government should be limited. Uh, I, I believe that uh, health care is not something that is an enumerated power uh, of the government. Uh, I don't think that that's something that uh, has to be done by the government. Um, we have, as you can see at the federal government level now, more and more intrusion of government into our private lives and into private endeavors. I think that uh, the more government is limited, the more freedom people have, and uh, the more personal accountability people have. Now at the local government level, uh, where as I said the rubber meets the road, obviously there are things that have to be done by the local government. Uh, the roads have to be paved. The police uh, have, to, uh, uh, have to be out on the streets and they have to protect the public. Uh, the, the health and the, the safety of the public is paramount and that is the, the uh, biggest responsibility of, of local government. So I'm concerned about all of these federal mandates and how they're going to affect the ability of local government. Well, it's going to cost money. Oh, yes. One of the things that uh, you have to do as a county commissioner, I think, is first establish what is the acceptable level of service, the acceptable level of service for parks and recreation, for police and fire, for roads, for what, whatever it is. What is the acceptable level of service? And then you determine what is the lowest tax rate to get that acceptable level of service. We've had a wonderful quality of life in Seminole County for a number of years because we've had the ability to go ahead and have an affluent uh, uh, citizenship uh, where we've had good property values, et cetera. 